Barbiedos! I'm Mrs. Barbie. Today is episode 6 for brushing up my Barbie bathroom. Yay! So I'm posting another episode for my Barbie DIY. Today, the bathroom project. I've been loving the project so much. My next mission is pretty big. I know it's gonna be a little hard. Let me take you to my Barbie bathroom quick because I really want to share something. So I've been working a lot in my Barbie bathroom. Here we got more folding shelf. And under my sink, it's now clean. And here it looks more organized. And I got the cutest cabinet here, right? And now I'm thinking to make one of a kind Barbie shelf here. Yeah, right now it's just whatever. I used to have little pink bathroom shelf here, but I took it off. So I need some cute shelf which I can hide this laundry hamper and also want to store all those makeup bags and some towels over there. So it has to be wide but thin. I've been looking for a really particular thing on the internet but I could never find the best size. So I just decided to make one by myself. When I cannot find a thing, I will just make it. So now I'm finally starting to make the special shelf. This time I really want to show you very, very detailed how I do. Don't ask him. We can do it Barbie doors. Let's start. I've shown you how to make shelves before, right? Make them from scratch. When I need a new furniture, of course, first I search on the internet first. If I could find a perfect size and shape in white, I would just paint in pink. But if I couldn't find anything good, and then I decide to make one. I'm putting one under this cabinet with similar color, almost like from the same brand. You know what I'm saying? I want to make it totally matching to this one. Now I start thinking about what kind of shelves or cabinet I need. How many shelves? Do I want to have open shelf or do I want to have a door or how many doors I need or something like that. So now I have very particular image in my head. But before going to lumber yard, I need to do one really important thing. So let me show you. When I make any furniture, I always draw a picture of what I'm thinking in my head to start. The scale doesn't need to be super super perfect yet but you want to know like how many shelves you want or you want to place vertical or horizontal or you know something like that. You just need to image first. This time actually I already drew this one. I know it's messy but it's okay as long as you know what you're drawing you know i never studied anything like this at school so i don't know the proper way to do it i'm not good at drawing so don't judge yeah so first of all you can start very simple the very basic structure right now what i need to think about is the thickness of the wood any wood piece have some thickness so when you draw this you have to think about the thickness of wood piece. That this is the top part and it's a side piece, right? So if there are two pieces, I need to think about if I'm putting the wood this way or this way. You know what I'm saying? I want to do like this. So now I have to draw like this. So draw the plain sketch. Don't forget to think about the thickness of wood. You can totally use ruler. I'm dividing here so I can put laundry hamper. So right now, I'm drawing something without the door, before putting the door. Before drawing this sketch, I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to put the door or not. But now I think I want to put it. Let's keep this one. But now I'm drawing another one, which is after putting the door. Yeah, I want to have two different sketch.
a little bit messed up, but it's okay. When I draw this one, now I know how many handles I need. You need a measuring tape to the wide height and length. So now I know very basic measurement, right? But it's more complicated. I cannot go to lumber yard yet. Let's go back to the room. So now I know the basic width, length, and the height. Actually, I'm more familiar with meters, not inches. But the lumbar guys where I go to, they all use inches. They're not familiar with centimeters. That's why I'm putting the numbers with inches for them. So now I need to calculate for each piece. I need to know the size for all pieces now. The wood I usually use is a half inch thickness. I always have to minus the thickness of the wood if I need it. For the outside pieces, I got numbers. And now I need to put even more numbers for inner pieces. So now I'm counting how many pieces I need. I need 12 pieces total. I'm not bringing this paper to lumber yard. I need to make more simple notes for lumber guy. Usually I bring like this type of paper. I literally put shape of the piece and I put exact size. I put each pieces with measuring. And then I also put how many I need. This kind of note always works. And when you finish writing this, now you're ready to go to lumber yard. Right now I'm going to my favorite, favorite place, lumber yard. There's one lumber yard in my neighborhood. Yeah, it's just five minutes drive away from my place. So I go there all the time. Today, I think I need to get whole big with pierce because I'm making a whole shelf. When I just need a, like a couple little wood pieces, I don't even need to buy whole wood. There are always some junk extra pieces which people left. This sometimes I just pick up from there. So I'm here. <laughs> it's like my Disneyland. You have no idea how much I'm excited about being here. Now I'm picking the handles for door, like door knobs. Yeah. I love this section so much. <laughs> so I pick this and now I need some hinges. There is literally like too many, too many. So if you have no idea what you get, just ask them. Yeah. And but when you see the back side, it really shows how much heavy things they could hold yeah, and it totally helps and here I also need corner braces yeah like small brackets and I always get these tiny one but they also have like a set yeah depends on what you want yeah and also I'm getting more nails now I'm going home so excited <laughs> So the lumber guy, he was so nice. I go to the same place all the time, so now they know me. Yeah, they totally recognize me and he finally actually asked me what am I actually doing <laughs> because, because I buy wood pieces 
all the time. Not funny. They were actually wondering what I was doing with this. <laughs> when he was helping me to load wood to my car, <laughs> he was like, so what are you doing with this? What's <laughs> funny. So I told him that I just love doing DIY and I make stuff like shelf all the time. You know? I came home and now I got wood pieces cut and I still have more pieces left in my car. <laughs> These are pretty heavy. I always take a little by little actually. Here I got some braces, hinges, magnet and handles. Today, I just introduced how I start my DIY project for bathroom cabinet. In the next episode, I will finally actually start making, so please don't miss it. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you have a fantastic Barbie day. Bye.